So we're getting set for the next uh, quarter final here. Crowd is building, and uh, this should be a good one too. The Rabbitohs come out. The Rabo Rabo Rabbitohs up against the Panthers. So the Nandera Panthers out against the Rabbitohs. This is the team, by the way, the Panthers. That's the, Dre the Rabbitohs, of course, on screen. Ravo, Ravo, Rabbitohs. And they may well need some divine intervention here today, Mills, in all seriousness, because they're up against a much vaunted opponent in Nandera. Again, I'll make the point that it's nine aside, obviously, not 13 aside, but Nandera, they did awfully well to win that grand final that I touched on a couple of times uh, during our coverage for the last couple of days in a nip and tuck affair against Saru. And so uh, it'll be interesting to see the style of footy that uh, the boys from the capital, who will get us underway, they bring to the table here. Yeah, absolutely. They've been really good throughout this tournament. Double, double, the Rabbitohs, they will need to start fast and early and get some points on and really put some pressure on this Panthers side, who are very good. We're underway here in this uh, second quarter final. Great to have you with us live around Fiji through our host broadcaster, Fiji One. A big bull of an arca to you all. We are coming your way from the rugby town of lovely Singatoka, or as they say, in this part of the world, Singatoka Satoka. And look at this, the Rabbitohs. Well, there's a rabbit running across the field. And uh, they're going to need to plug those holes, Nandera, because that is uh, a shot across the bow. Rabo Rabo Rabbitohs on the front foot here at Lawanga Park. A warm welcome also to our international audience through Sky Sport in New Zealand and also through KO in Australia. Great to have you with us here for day two of the Fijian Cup Nines. Jason Costigan calling the action here. And that goes over the sideline. That is a disappointing play there. It comes to nothing for the Rabbitohs after that initial line break. Mills Muliaina, the All Black legend himself, is joining me in commentary here today. And this, of course, the second of the quarterfinals. The Ravo Ravo Rabbitohs up against the Nendera Panthers who've made the journey from Suva. They are the defending premiers in the 13-a-side competition in this part of the world. Oh, just needed to straighten up there, didn't they? The electoral one just needed to square up a bit. Lost the away. Panthers. Oh, good defence here. First up from the Rabbitohs. So the Panthers getting played now to within six metres of the midway stripe. Early stages of this second quarter final. The match that preceded this in the men's success for Saru. That was the team that Nandera defeated in the Vodafone Cup Grand Final, but it was unconvincing, it must be said. Pressure here on the Panthers. Looking for a chink in the armour. The Rabbitohs defence, the, the teeth of the defence is up to the task. 10 metres, Rabideau side of halfway. It's a dusty pass. It comes across towards our commentary position. Nothing fancy on this play here from the Panthers. And they lost it. They lost the ball. Can you believe it? That's just uh, a lack of application, a lack of concentration. I'm not sure what he was thinking. And perhaps he thought it was... The fifth run. And he just left the ball there and started backpedaling as if he was going to defend. Still had another couple of tackles left. That is the greatest example of losing <laughs> you know, losing the handle, hey? What what a the handle to snap. Just let it go. So he obviously miscounted, didn't look it up at the referee, thought the tackle count was over. The Rabbitohs now, they've gone to that left-hand edge predominantly in this first half. Perhaps they see an opportunity down there, that flank, but equally enough, the pants is very good on defence on that side too. And our apologies too today. Look, we were looking at team sheets here that, uh, with greatest respect to the team managers, they look like they've been written by your local doctor, your local GP, writing out a script. I don't think there's any penicillin being required, but 
it's a, a tough ask for Mills and myself to try and decipher, decipher what's going on here. We might have to ring Bletchley Park in the UK to help out. Yeah. But what we won't need to worry about is the action on display here because there's certainly some talent for the Panthers at the moment. They're looking pretty good. They're certainly putting plenty of pressure on this Rabbitohs outfit. They are. It's a, an opportunity here for the Panthers. So let's see what the men from Suva can do. They're 19 metres away. And there's a penalty here. The marker was not square up. That's a fair call from the referee. It was a confident call. It was the correct call. Very good call from the referee. But equally enough as well. Great opportunity now for the Panthers to split the field right in front of the posts. They've got some big men to try and set something up there. Hopefully a dummy half will run out of there. They'll be very good at the dummy half. Running out and perhaps an inside ball. Here they go, the Panthers coming this left side. Looking for a, a gap in the defence. Nothing forthcoming on this occasion. On their own goal line, the Rabbitohs here looking for a barge over. Stop me if you can, says the big man going straight up Main Street. And somehow he ends up like a turtle on his back. Oh, he's massive, isn't he? Big, big run. But how good was the defence as well? What was impressive about it is they got onto the ball, one underneath and one straight on the ball as well. So couldn't get it down and they rolled him onto his back excellent defense there from Ravo, Ravo Rabideaus and the big hits keep on coming here a sense of urgency here for the Rabbitohs in defense Ravo Ravo under the pump the Panthers spread it there's got to be some open pasture somewhere some evasive work here Nadakuna I think it is for then Dara in the corner a little thread the needle job and I'll tell you what whoever taught him home economics or selling needs to go back and thread some more needles I'm not sure that was the right option yeah <laughs> was it <laughs> then, you're not sure Mills yeah, clearly there wasn't an opportunity there plenty of feet involved as well probably needed to be a little bit more patient get it out wide there it is three players they closed that gap but as you see trying to thread that needle there was no nothing to thread there Mission Impossible, really. To say it was ambitious was an understatement. Here come the Rabbitohs from their own end of the field. And, oh, my goodness, just for a second, I thought they were going to turn it over again. Still inside their own end of the field. First half action here at Lawanga Park. No score. Remembering the first men's quarter final, it was nil all after regulation time. We went to Golden Point and Saru coming up with the match winner. So they go through to the next stage. Here's the last. There's the kick. It's a midfield bomb. Tested the back of the Panthers. They spill the lollies. And it will be a knock on here. So it's effectively six to go. It works out well for the, the Bunnies. They'll uh, take that with glee. Geez, do what they want. That was very, very well executed. And had the sun in his eyes and possibly heard some feet trembling on him as well very difficult to catch there we went backwards but it, we tried to fall on it and the pressure too much he's actually been substituted as well was that a hook or what yeah it might possibly mate you might have got, have got something there <laughs> got a, a billy army kick out hairstyle as well it's uh, they tell me it's uh, catching on in this part of the world uh, you can't blame him and and his mates no, it's very trendy at the moment Trinity also when you're a man like himself the enforcer here's a kick in behind the line it's a, a kind bounce here for Nandera scampering back there to recover 20 out from their own goal line less than 90, 90 seconds out from half time here at Lawanga Park this is day two of the uh, Fijian Cup Nines great to have you with us to Tourism HQ people a big shout out to you Great to see you partnering with uh, the Fiji National Rugby League. Hey. Among the tourism uh, people here today, Tourism HQ, which is such an important part of the local economy, of course. Fiji's hospitality internationally famous, as we see Nandera building pressure here. Here's the last. The Pampers sensing an opportunity if they spread it to the right. Let's see if they keep it going. No, it's a little kick in behind the line. Again, the Rabbitohs get back there. They've got numbers and 
They avoid the spill. Well, it's a penalty. The referee has spotted, what, offside play? Player taking out. Uh, some obstruction there. Yeah, it looked like off the ball there, or perhaps the players. So this is massive in terms of the first half. Well, we're in the shadows of half time here, and let's just watch this replay. Well, yeah, it, he could have pulled out of that. What do you think? Yeah. Well, they've got to try. They've got to try. It's caught everyone off guard. Caught me off guard. I'm not the only one in the uh, far side of the field. Here's the replay. On the back of the penalty, it's a tap and go. And uh, just muscling their way across the line. Josiah Novawiku, I believe. Again, I, uh, my apologies to the family and the from his uh, people from his community. But I can only go on the uh, on the chicken scroll that we've been provided with, and I can't call it any other way. Half time here at Lawanga Park, the Ravo Ravo Rabbitohs uh, have got a job in front of them. It's the Panthers who lead four points to nil. Well, as the uh, the Rabbitohs ponder what might have been conceding points there, uh, Mills Muliaina, I can't wait for this Rugby League World Cup final uh, overnight. Of course, we've got the the ladies with uh, your beloved Kiwi Ferns playing as well against the Gillaroos. I dare say the two best teams playing in that. But in terms of this men's final, it's really got people talking. There's no doubt about it. I caught up with some of the, as I said, the Samoan boys here today. They've got the flag flying here at Lawanga Park, not for the first time. And people right across the Pacific Islands, in fact, the Southwest Pacific, they are talking about Toa Samoa looking to, well, claim a big scalp and make a big statement for the rest of the world, because that's what this is. This is an opportunity of a lifetime for these players. It doesn't happen all too often, does it? Oh, well, it doesn't. Really doesn't. And when they're leading into the tournament too, there was a big expectation that they had plenty of talent that would come through and possibly be in the stage. And you know, obviously, with the way it went and the uh, convincing win to England in that first game, 60 odd points to six, I think it was, to turn things around like they have, tier two nation, first time ever in history that they've made a final. But they, not silly, they know they're up. For, a big challenge against the Kangaroos. That is going to be a ripper of a game. Absolutely, and uh, no prize for guessing who most of the fans that come through the turnstiles at the Theatre of Dreams, who they'll be cheering for. There's no England, of course, which is a, a bit of disappointment for Sean Wayne and the England team. So much effort going into the end of the campaign. A disappointing again. Uh, they haven't won since 1972. That's been well documented. Uh, and now that's been put on hold until France 2025, of course. But I'm sure that the, the British Rugby League public coming through the through the gates at uh, Old Trafford, they will be they'll be chuffed a bit if Samoa can roll the might of the Kangaroos. It is David versus Goliath. Yeah, it certainly is. And they're massive underdogs. I mean, considering the history behind the Kangaroos, they, and they won't be taking it lightly. Either. They know how good this Torsa Moore team is. But certainly, for me, really, it's going to come down to the halves and how, how much they can control the games. Both sides have got excellent halves. A lot of pressure on the likes of Milford and, of course, Luai for Samoa. Can't wait for it. All right, we're all set here for the re, uh, resumption in the hostilities, if you like. The second half coming your way. Referee just checking that all is in order. Rabbitohs to get us... Back underway, Nandera with first use of the ball for this second period. It's the Panthers, the men from the capital, who'd lead this match, the second quarter final in the men's tournament, four points to nil. Here we go. Nothing fancy here on this set, although all of a sudden they decide to come back to the short side and Realised there wasn't not a lot of room, and look, they keep coming back here, and now there is a bit of space, and they need to be wary of this sideline. It is a fast track, but nevertheless, 
Panthers have done well here. This is excellent yardage. Great meter eater here coming up right up the middle. What's the referee ruled here? Is he ruled offside here? He's calling someone out. Well, I can't work out quite quite what happened there. And uh, yeah, using the shoulder. He's saying it was a shoulder charge, not using. Okay, well that's. He did give us a signal. The referee giving his dues, Mills. He did give us a signal. He's pinged the Rabbitohs defender for drop. Yeah, for dropping the shoulder. And of course, how the game has changed. It certainly has, doesn't it? I mean, slight jolly, but it does impede someone going through. So, yeah, excellent to see him fall down. Well, I'm surprised that he did call it that way. Hello, look, look, the ball's come loose and it's play on. Oh, no, the referee says come back here and it's a penalty for a strip. The Rabbitohs thought they had an equaliser and a chance to take the lead, but no. So important, Mills, isn't it, to play to the whistle, no matter what the sport is? Yeah, absolutely. Play to the whistle. And in this case, yeah, there it is. It's a strip, wasn't it? Yeah, it looked like it too. Yeah, well, well, spotted by the referee. Yeah, fair play to uh, the man in the middle. So the Panthers leading four points to nil. Let's see if they can uh, crack them for a second time here today. Men's quarterfinal number two, Ravo Ravo Rabbitohs with some work to do here to keep the Panthers at bay. Oh, good shot. Ball comes loose. Pressure off the bunnies. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, excellent. So, someone got a hand to that. Nice little snipe out of dummy half. I think it might have been. That excellent defence. Someone got a hand to that ball and popped it out of his hands. So the Rabbitohs bring it away as we watch the replay here and this was a, a dangerous time here for the Bunnies but they weathered the storm there that's uh, it was an important stop. Yeah, it was, it was, it was they were under some pressure there for the Rabbitohs. So the clock ticking away the Bunnies at the wrong end of the field and uh, although they're looking to rectify that get out of my way says this man and that will help their cause and it's a penalty flag was up what's he ruled here high shot well, this is an excellent result for Ravo Ravo the Rabbitohs with a bullocking charge and the Panthers being knocked over in the process and the touch judge putting the flag up well he must have realized it was a TV game yeah, yeah straight up and down like we've seen in the last few days here come the Rabbitohs there's a try building here here comes the equalizer and the bunnies have got the job done in the corner quite remarkable and this game is alive and kicking quarterfinal number two and we're locked up at four apiece at Lawanga Park. Excellent work down that right hand side. They got some good front foot, ball, excellent hands, and the speedster on that outside. He still had a bit of work to do. The cover defense coming across, too big, too strong. Nice try. Equal things up, kicks are come. Difficult assignment this to put the Rabbitohs in front. Not rushing it either. I can't believe the Panthers are just coming up to feel like Brown's cows. Shot a goal is going to be waved away. I'm not sure if that's actually within the rules of this players meandering up field while there's a conversion being taken, but nevertheless, it was a, a good finish here. Uh, and I think it was Tora who powered over. He took some stopping and they couldn't stop him. Really seeing a lift in intensity from all the, the, the day two. Obviously, silverware day. Already seen extra time. 
in the first quarter final. Could we be getting extra time in the second? We'll soon find out. Mills Muliaina, the All Black legend himself, joining yours truly, Jason Costigan, and in the commentary box. And a very steamy one at that, the fan behind us. The brand is power, mate. Well, he is our mate today, because uh, without that power, we would be, uh, well, we might be going to see a medic. But uh, very much steamy conditions, as you'd expect at this time of the year in the tropics here in Fiji and uh, the Panthers inside the final three minutes looking to perhaps build some pressure here they're at the wrong end of the field unless they're going to come out with a long range special still a lot of time left in the game remembering this is nine aside football plenty can happen in a short period of time a little kick in behind the line and it doesn't pay off for the uh, Panthers. In fact, probably backfires and gives the Rabbitohs good field position here. Just over two minutes out from full time. Are uh, we going to Golden Point? And uh, I suspect that uh, the odds of that are shortening by the by the second. Yeah, it could be. I mean, this is one. I mean, before the lift in intensity. And... Lang on that pass was forward for mine. The referee says play on. So does the touch judge. Surely that was forward. It looked very, very flat, didn't it? But he's let it go. Rabideau's still in position. Less than two minutes to go. Here they go. The bunnies with a juggle. And they pop it out far side. This is an amazing nine-a-side rugby league and basically the players only <laughs> scattered across one half of the field laterally. At least on that play it was. Oh, it's come off a Panther. This will be a Gifts uh, restart here. So more ammunition. Just over 90 seconds to go in regulation. And if you're the Rabbitohs, you'd actually just basically hit it up here, surely Mills, and shape for a one-pointer. Surely. Well, this is the opportunity now. This would be a massive upset, wouldn't it? A couple of, a couple of big drives up the, up the middle here. It's surely the way or the blueprint to win the game. Well, the thing is with these, this sort of team, this outfit was go for the chip. Here's a bounce. Here's an opportunity. There's a try and it's the winning try. And it's a boil over. The Rabbitohs somehow have knocked out the Panthers in the Fijian Cup nines or have they? Referee is not convinced. The Bunnies are over the moon. They reckon they've got four points. No try, waved away. My goodness, what a call. Perhaps the most contentious call we have seen here in the last couple of days. Beautifully executed, but the referee or touch judge has found something at fault. Well, he certainly has. He's got the call from the touch judge. That was excellent work. That is saying, double, double movement, I think it is, isn't it? Well, I think he's kidding himself. I thought it was all in the one motion. I thought it was legitimate. Let's look at this replay. He's held up. It can't, it can't be double movement. It cannot be double movement. What game are you watching? I don't understand that. He was already over the line. If anything, he went to force it down. There's some guys trying to get out of So they've given away. This is a massive call. Massive confusion as well. We've lost the clock. The fans are wondering how long to go. There's no timepiece here, of course, at the ground. They've spilt the lollies here, the Panthers. Rabbitohs have got it back. And surely they'll have a shot at goal. Have they got the football smarts to work it out? You only need one to win the game to go through to the next stage and they lose possession. I cannot understand why nobody manages the game under those circumstances and has the one shot, one point shot at goal. I just can't understand that. And we will go to Golden Point here. Back to back games into Golden Point. I kid you not, here in the men's tournament at the Fijian Cup Nines. Controversy in this one for all at the final whistle between Rabo Rabo and Nandera. as we go into extra time. High drama, a lot being said, some of the fans not happy. 
I'm sure people watching throughout Fiji, through Fiji One, if you're a Rabbitohs fan, as we'd say in my part of the world, you'd be blowing up Deluxe. Oh, certainly would be. I mean, that call was huge. I mean, to, to call a penalty when he was really over the line, I'm unsure about that, but they certainly had an opportunity later on to try and finish it. Perhaps not having that scoreboard in the time as well. Someone to organise and say, hey, we've only got a few seconds left, set up in the middle while we go for that one-pointer. They missed another opportunity there too to really to, to win that game. But we're going into extra time. Eight, well, four teams so far of the eight quarterfinals. In, and, you know, we're going to, this is what you want as an organiser. Best teams going through to the quarterfinals and showcasing his stuff. And we certainly have some tight, tight games in his first two ones. That's for sure. Captivating stuff, no doubt, for our TV audience, both domestically and internationally. A warm welcome to our friends in New Zealand watching through Sky Sport and also in Australia watching through KO. Great to have you with us on a, a big weekend for Rugby League, of course, with all eyes on the World Cup at Old Trafford. Kangaroos v Toa Samoa. And again, Tolofa to all our Fijian, or rather Samoan brothers and sisters watching this. And I know that you'll be so super excited in the hours that will follow this tournament for what is the biggest game in the history of Samoan Rugby League. Not only that, Pacific Islands Rugby League. I think Pacifica. Pacifica Rugby League in terms of where they've got to Tier 2 nation making the finals. Everyone there, the islands, the island nations getting right in behind them and being proud and also motivated to know that one of the island brothers have got there and perhaps this could be the way to the future to inspire Pacific Island nations to do the same. And again, we see the match uh, commissioner, I think it is, the tournament commissioner having a bit to say here, just to explaining the uh, the rules of engagement for uh, this next period of play. So there's no uh, misgivings, no misunderstandings. And uh, in a moment or two, we'll be back underway Four all between the Nandera Panthers, the top dogs of Fijian Domestic Rugby League, and this team, the team in green, red and white, the Rabbitohs. Ravo, Ravo, Rabbitohs. Plenty of pressure also on the match officials, not just the players, and no better example than at the back end of that game with that controversy. Some high drama. I could not spot the double movement. I don't know what game they were watching. It was either held up or a try. Yeah, yeah it certainly was from where we're sitting. Uh, but he got the call from his touch judge as well. So the players have regassed as best they can because it is tough conditions out there. Both uh, days of action here for the, uh, for the international audience, particularly for your benefit, because of the heat and the humidity play basically being wrapped up just after lunchtime each day, and for good reason. Here we go. Golden point extra time, quarterfinal number two. Back-to-back -back games whereby that has happened. And the Rabbitohs lose the ball. And look at the, one of their players is begging the touch judge to give them a call for a strip and the touch he wouldn't have a bar of it and now we see a, a loss of possession on the part of Nandera in fact it's a penalty is it it's a penalty is that what he's ruled well, he's ruled a scrum but who's gonna have the put in I haven't seen a scrum all, all tournament no, they... But I think this is valid. He tried to offload here, saying he stripped it. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it was there, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, but the ball security, there's got to be a bit more onus on the ball carrier, but look, it's perhaps one of those things could have gone either way, but the Panthers are going to... They're, they're, this is a big, big leg up, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And perfect field position for them too. First shot at this golden point. Well, if I'm the Panthers, I'm going to have a shot. I'm going to have a shot to try and knock them out right here, right now. 
Uh, I'm going to head it up towards the towards the sticks with some of their big boppers. And there's a penalty for offside. Well, this will kill the game. They're offside and they're absolutely off their rocker if they don't have a shot at goal. They are surely not going to have a shot at... They are not going to have a tap, are they? No way. No way. Who is the captain for the Panthers? Is this against the rules? You can't have a shot at goal. Fair enough. So the Panthers, with a barge over to win it, they must be close, perilously close, on their own goal line. Looking for a four-pointer, possibly five. They'll take one if they can. Anything will do. It's even Stevens in a humdinger of a quarter final here at Lawanga Park. It's all on the line and the Panthers will get it done. It's a simple play from dummy half, nothing fancy. They will prevail, the Panthers. They've dodged a bullet here. They will go through to the next.